Hello friends, welcome to Solid Edge tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create 3D model for Bevel Helical Gear. This video is only for practice purpose. So let's start new isometric part. This is the synchronous environment and we are going to learn in ordered mode. So right click on synchronous, take last option as transition to ordered. And now we are in ordered mode. For this 3D model creation, we will use revolve pattern and locked command. So click on revolve command, select front plane, front plane, take a line, start from origin. Firstly, we will make this sketch, and after that, we will dimension it. So this is second. To convert from straight line to arc, just press A and main make one arc. Continue with straight line. Come back to origin. Now we will dimension it. Click on smart dimensions. And this line should be 163. This height should be 32 mm. Next one is 36. Next is 38. Thirty-nine. And last is forty-five. This is 5 mm. This should be 32. This is 80. This should be 102. And last one is 112. So our sketch is fully defined because it is completely in black color so we need to define here uh, axis of revolution because we are in revolve command so click on axis of revolution and define the axis of revolution close the sketch define the angle that is 360 finish cancel so we have this design body one now we will create gear to profile here for that click sketch and click on left plane make one circle with 100 mm diameter and another circle with 170 mm diameter dimension it 170 and 100 take a line start from origin up to the bigger one circle and make this line in construction mode construction Now we need to create tooth profile here for that take arc by three point start with bigger circle and smaller circle and define middle point so dimension this arc smart dimension arc radius should be 65 mm and distance at the outer circle is 6 mm and distance at the smaller circle should be 15 mm so this should be 15 now we will make mirror of this arc for that click on mirror select the arc 
sorry click on mirror command click the entities and define the axis and click ok so we have tooth profile here and we need to trim this outer circle so trim trim and this inner circle as well so we have this close profile now we need to make pattern of this tooth but in solid age 2019 we don't have pattern in sketch so what we will do we will make pattern after 3d extrude or after using a loft command so close sketch for now and finish cancel so we have this sketch number seven here i will hide this design body and so the plane we have selected left so i will show the this left right plane and take a parallel plane to this right plane uh, click on parallel plane and select the right plane and give distance as 45 mm and click ok again select right plane and give distance as a 90 mm and click ok so we have added two parallel planes to the right plane and we need to project the sketch one that means sketch seven on this plane six and plane seven so for now i will hide this plane seven and this right plane also and take a sketch click on plane six now we will use here project sketch project to sketch click on project to sketch click ok select the sketch number seven and click ok and close the sketch so and finish cancel so we have projected sketch on this plane number six which is sketch number eight so i will hide this sketch number seven and click on this play sketch number eight edit profile we need to make this line in construction mode or we can delete this now we need to rotate this sketch with the helix angle for that click on a rotate command enter the steps as a 15 degree and select the sketch number 8 define the origin point and second point take to the left or right so i will take to the right now we have original sketch as well as a rotated sketch so we need to delete this one original sketch i have deleted this original sketch also we need to scale this sketch so click on scale select the sketch define origin point and scale value as 0.75 so its size will get reduced close the sketch finish and we have a sketch number eight now for the plane number seven we need to repeat the same procedure so hide this sketch number eight and plane number six so the plane number seven and sketch number seven and repeat the same procedure sketch select the plane and click on project to sketch click ok select all sketch click ok and close the sketch and finish cancel so just we need to 
rotate and scale this sketch number 10 for that hide this sketch number 7 and click on sketch number 10 edit profile and delete this inner lines click on rotate select total sketch define steps as 30 and select the origin second point and take to the left or right so we will have to take right read the original sketch and we need to scale this so click on scale select the sketch and define origin point enter the scale value as 0 0.5 close the sketch finish and we have this sketch on the left plane so, so all the sketches three sketches take the left side so we have on the left side inclination so i will show the design body now we will use locked command here so click on locked lock protrusion and select the sketch number one node point one sketch number two and sketch number three and take a preview so finish cancel we have tooth profile here now we will make pattern of this tooth profile select the protrusion one click on pattern and select the plane and define the origin point select the direction of the pattern so we will enter here seven count and enter close the sketch and finish cancel we will hide the sketches so we have here bevel helical gear so we will make one more helical gear on this shank as well for that take a sketch select the planar face make one circle with the diameter of 110 one more circle with the diameter of 80 take a dimensions click on line start from origin to the bigger one circle construction make this line in construction mode we need to make here with profile for that arc by three point start from bigger circle smaller circle and middle point let's dimension it at the top we have 2 mm at the bottom we have 4 mm the radius of this is 40 mm so we need to make mirror of the arc so click on mirror select the arc define the axis click ok trim trim the outer body and this inner circle as well close the sketch finish cancel so click on parallel plane and this planar face take a plane with 48 mm distance click ok now we can hide this design body one so repeat the same procedure for project sketch click sketch select plane 
click on the project to sketch okay click the sketch click okay and close the sketch finish cancel hide this sketch number 17 plane click on sketch number 18 edit profile delete the lines from inner side we need to rotate this sketch so click on rotate select the sketch define the steps as 15 degree select the origin second point take to the left or right so we have taken to the right need to delete this original one I have deleted close the sketch finish cancel for the design body for the page number 17 as well click on locked command select the point from page number 17 page number 18 preview cancel so we have helical tooth here we will make pattern of this as well just hide the sketches click on pattern like the protrusion 18 click ok click the planar face for the pattern define the origin like the direction we will give count as 12 close the sketch we have helical gear on this shank as well 